it's crypto lightsaber back with another video guys and i want to talk about this token because i think it's really bullish in fact it reminds me of saitama um not that it's similar to saitama but it just reminds me of saitama okay guys so adiverse um there is actually a rebrand let's just get into that before we uh talk about it further we go to the twitter there's a rebrand they've got a new logo all right guys and um this was the previous logo this dog as you can see on here, you can see that dog right here. Uh, but it started as a meme coin. It's actually evolved into something really serious. And they've got a whole ecosystem. You've got the Adiverse. So this is the new logo. You've got the Adiverse over here. All right, guys. Andromeda, Aurora, all these different, you know, planetary names and stuff like that. I really like the theme that they got. Uh, the theme that they're going with, and it's basically an NFT, uh, you know, DeFi gaming and you know dex exchange service and all that sort of stuff you've got the decentralized exchange here which looks really good as well so you can swap and add your liquidity do all of that over here similar to uh you know uniswap and pancake swap and so on and uh, you can see i've got uh, a nice balance over here 16 billion tokens out of the how many tokens is there I've got quite a massive supply on this uh, 100 quadrillion tokens all right guys um and um, yeah, I think this is a really good token. They also have a governance token called Verse, uh, which you can also get on both uh, the Ethereum network and the Binance Smart Chain. AD as well, you can get it on the Ethereum network and the Binance Smart Chain. But this is not a video about the governance token, but you can go and check that out. There's only 5 million of these tokens, so it might be a good buy. But the price is kind of up at the moment, so you might want to buy it on a dip. Um, not sure what's happened here. Has CoinGecko changed their... Um, <laughs> what's going on here well i'm not sure what's going on there guys but um let's just go back to the ade new token so like i said you can go and check out the verse token which is the governance token i've actually invested in the ad uh the actual ad token all right guys uh, because this is the one you're going to be using for in-app purchases gaming uh your nfts and all that sort of stuff governance is just for voting and stuff like that it doesn't mean that you know i'm not bullish on that token as well but if i have to pick one i'm going to be in this one for the simple fact that it's it's got the meme coin aspect to it and it's got the you know the DeFi and utility aspect to it all right guys and uh you know that that just makes it super bullish to me to be honest um if you go on coin gecko you're gonna be able to pull up both versions of this token uh ad inu will be the original erc20 version so you can get the contract over here and then ad finance will be the binance smart chain version where you can get the contract over here all right guys now there's going to be difference in prices to the actual um, um tokens uh, the binance smart chain version and the erc20 version but as those versions come closer together in price they will bridge it okay so they're actually working on the erc20 to bsc bridge so as you can see this is the binance smart chain version i actually bought the erc20 version uh okay this is the verse token that's the governance token as you can see there the governance token has gone absolutely crazy so you know you might want to buy a dip on that potentially if you do intend to get into that token but if we go back to the um let's just get up the uh the erc20 no, i think i've got it over here right so this is the erc20 version and this is looking super bullish guys we've got a double bottom okay and we've got an uptrend we've broken the uh kind of downward sloping resistance and we are starting to put in higher highs and higher lows. All right, guys. So I actually bought the token down here just yesterday. But I've been watching the token for months. I actually should have pulled the trigger down here. But I didn't. I thought, let me watch it for a bit. Because, you know, these coins can easily die. This one doesn't seem to be dying, guys. It seems to have a lot of life in it. The Telegram community is massive as well. Twitter is massive. Let's just see how many members have got on Twitter. 7,353 on Twitter. And we have... 5,600 people on um, on uh, Telegram. So there's still lots of room to grow. And by the way, if you want to cut out all of the CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap stuff to find the contracts on these, if you go to the Telegram group, click on the uh, info and click right here, you'll be able to get both contracts for each version, the Binance Smart Chain version and the Ethereum version. Um, I could say it doesn't matter which one you buy at the moment uh, because... You know they're going to bridge it anyway uh, so if you're holding long term it doesn't really matter if you are in in this for a quick flip you know uh and when i say quick flip i mean you know 
from now until the end of the year, end of the ball cycle potentially, going into next year, I would suggest buying the ERC-20 version um, because, uh, you know, it's just been around longer. All right, guys. Um, you know, that being said, um, you know, at the end of the day, the price of the, uh, the Binance Smart Chain version is moving just as good anyway. Uh, but it's just a little bit more chart history. Okay, guys. Um, so I actually, you know, bought the ERC-20 version, paid the gas fees. But, you know, if you want to cut out the gas fees, just go over to the Binance Smart Chain, buy that version, you know, hold it for a little while. And eventually we should get the bridge. All right, guys. So we've looked at the charts. All right. Um, I also said uh, that this actually reminds me of Saitama. If you look at Saitama, right? So I believe we're in this stage of uh, of AD, right? So we're very early on this. Um, if it can follow the price action of Saitama, Saitama's gone absolutely nuts, guys. I really like this token. I actually wanted to buy this down here. I told my friend about it. We didn't buy it, and it left us behind. But, you know, that's how it goes in crypto. Maybe if we can get a big pullback on this, potentially, I can buy some Saitama. But I still think Saitama is going to perform well. But, um, yeah, that's another one. It's kind of similar to Adiverse or AD Finance, in my opinion. Um, that's just the way I see it. All right, guys? So, Adiverse is gaming, NFTs, and so on. Okay, so... AD Finance presents the Adiverse, our ecosystem of crypto assets and utilities. We are bringing together complete decentralized finance solutions and integrating them with blockchain gaming and NFTs. All right, guys. So they've got the multi-network decentralized exchange, which should be able to uh, use on Binance, uh, Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum Network, and so on. I'm not sure about Polygon and all that sort of stuff, but, you know, there's time for them to implement all of that sort of stuff. You, you've got an in-house NFT marketplace they're going to be creating. Like I said, you've got the Verse token, which is the governance and main utility token for Adicraft. And that's what the NFT marketplace is called, by the way, Adicraft. As you can see, there's an example of what it might look like over there. You've got play to earn blockchain gaming, all right, guys, and you will use the AD token in here to interact with that as well, I believe. And then you have the asset tracker app, this is another project or, or sorry, um, product that they've got AD Connect. And then they have AD Garage, the merchandise store, which you can use your AD tokens to buy merchandise and stuff like that. They've been featured in various articles. They've got a decent roadmap as well, which they are soon to launch their, their mainnet. Okay, so you've got the ADCraft mainnet release for the NFT platform. And then you've got AD Swap version 2 being released. And then AD Connect and AD PlayFi. I've never heard of that before, PlayFi. Okay, guys, so... It will start development in that for quarter one of 2022. That's the first play to earn NFT game development. And um, yeah, they've got a lot going for them, guys. So as we said, there's 100 quadrillion contracts is there. You get contracts for the various different versions on the website as well, um, by the way. And the team is doxxed. All right, guys. So this is the team. Our talented leadership team have a wealth of experience, a variety of skills, including blockchain development, finance, sales, marketing, design and app development. Okay, I don't really need much to invest in a project. All I need to know is that it's got a good chart. They've got a good ecosystem. They're building. Um, they've been around for a while. Okay, guys. So for me, this could be a good contender for some gains to be made in this bull cycle. And it is clearly in an uptrend. It's moving up as we speak. So I'm going to leave all the links in the description for you. You can go and check this out, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. At the end of the day, none of this is financial advice. It's just my opinion. I'm investing in this token. And I'll be, yeah, I'll be holding a bag of this until we do what Saitama did. All right, guys, look at that. Amazing. So that's about it for now, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment. Do what you want with that information. And I will see you in the very next video.